the housing crisis will only get worse under the Tories' planning proposals, Douglas Murphy to view the full article, click the first link in the description below, as the pandemic first hit the U.S., Bloom, who has now worked with Instacart for more than two years, was in the enviable position of seeing more opportunities to make money. But that didn't last long. Several weeks into the health crisis, he started noticing that bigger ticket collections of orders, also known as batches, would get swooped up in the blink of an eye by one of the many other workers in Instacart's rapidly growing fleet of shoppers. You have to constantly look at your phone because if you turn your head for a minute, that batch is gone," Bloom said. While the risk of doing the job during a health crisis remained the same and there was no hazard pay, he started to notice a change in the orders he was able to secure. $7 to $10 batches in lieu of batches that could be many multiples higher in the first weeks of the pandemic. As demand for grocery deliveries began spiking in March, Instacart announced plans to more than double its workforce of full-service shoppers, who, like Bloom, are treated as independent contractors. Several weeks later, Instacart announced it had already added 300,000 new workers and would add an additional 250,000 shoppers in select regions. The company also said it would begin instituting a wait list to prevent oversaturation. Instacart said it currently has over 500,000 active shoppers and expects that number to fluctuate over time as the country reopens, sometime around the end of April, May. The batches weren't as large monetarily, said Carol Chantney, who is based in Michigan and has worked as an Instacart shopper since 2017. Something seemed to be going on. Some Instacart shoppers are having their jobs cut during the pandemic in response to questions from CNN Business. Instacart said there were more batches for shoppers to select from in the early weeks of the pandemic because of an imbalance between supply and demand. The platform had fewer than 200,000 shoppers at the time, and it was only able to deliver as the pandemic first hit the U.S. Bloom, who has now worked with Instacart for more than two years, was in the enviable position of seeing more opportunities to make money but that didn't last long to view the full article. Click the first link in the description below, 